So we're long approaching the end of this kind of mini series, this Easter spectacular of me not doing any projects and me just talking. Uh, and today I wanted to discuss the uh, free version of Click Team. Um, this was um, raised by one of the comments uh, that I received on a previous video in this this fortnight um, that said that someone just fo just used the free version. And I was, it just got me thinking, like, what is in the free version? Now, whenever you hear about a demo, you kind of assume that a demo is um, really <clears throat> basic, like sort of first level of a computer game, or it, it doesn't really give you very much. Um, but this isn't, I think Click Team used to give a demo. Um, this definitely isn't a demo. It's a proper, fully featured, free version of Click Team. Uh, and I just wanted to sort of go through it because I've never used it. I've always paid for Click Team. Um, because when I started doing it, as, as you know, um, there was no free version, there was no demo. Um, and as soon as you get bit by the, the click team bug, <laughs> you kind of just give them all your money. Fine, you can have it. I don't care. <laughs> it's all good. Um, but I wanted to go through what was in the free version. So I've done some preparation and I've got the table. I'm, you're not going to be able to see this, but I've got the table. Oh, oh wow. See, that, that's why you have an expensive DSLR camera for your webcam. But anyway, um, so I just want to go through what, what it has. So I'm just going to talk through it. Um, and then maybe I'll do a video tomorrow on whether to upgrade to the developer version. Because I have I used to have the normal version. As soon as they sort of came out with the developer version, maybe a year later, um, I, I jumped on it. Because I think it's it's totally worth it. But anyway, I'll talk about that maybe in tomorrow's video. So looking at this, the free version, you get the storyboard, which is just as well. So the storyboard's where you've got the level set up. Uh, you get the frame editor, which is where you edit the frame, which is where you put most of your graphics and all that stuff. The event editor's the bit where it looks like an Excel spreadsheet where you've got all your events and stuff. Data editor, picture and animation editor. So you've got all the stuff you need to make a game. But the free version doesn't have the event list editor. Now that's when you're in the event editor and you double click something and it shows you within that event the order that things happen. So that's quite irritating you don't get that um, because sometimes you can get into problems with your computer game that is all to do with the uh, order that the events take place. Um, so you're just going to have to be really careful about where, about how you're adding things and what order you're adding things in the event or make separate events. Um, and because Click Team works from top to bottom, if you do separate events, you can always see um, the order they do it in. The data editor, list of extensions used by the application. I don't think I've ever used the data editor. Maybe I have. The project files, alpha channels, Alpha channels is a big one. Um, you don't need them until you do need them. And as soon as you need alpha channels, they are the only way you can achieve certain things, certain graphics and stuff. So that's going to be quite an important one. And embedded binary files. I think a lot of those things um, you need for the Windows executable. But with the free version, you do not get the Windows executable. Now, back in the day, um, <laughs> when this started, there was only the Windows executable, the .exe files. But they're not very trendy anymore because um, people who make viruses love exes. Exes can do whatever they, whatever the programmer wants them to do. So from a security point of view, exes aren't as popular anymore. Um, so <laughs> it's probably, I don't know, it, it probably would be a, a deal breaker before, but now not so much. Um, hang on, I'm just going to pause this a second. One of the many problems with filming in the garage is that anytime someone goes out and does something in the bin, my uh, alarm bell, or the door thing goes off. But anyway, um, so with the free version, you get limited. I don't know what that means. And I've tried to find information on it, but I don't really know what it means. But anyway, limited um, uh, access to the HTML5, HTML5 export module. So if you're going to export your games, so share them, you do so with the HTML5 um, exporter. Now, this is me guessing because it doesn't actually say on the site. 
I would imagine it would have like made with click team uh, watermark on it, which is absolutely fair enough if that's the case. Um, but that's amazing. Um, it also says that um, it's commercial free, royalty free. So you can share your stuff without the risk of click team coming after you, uh, which, you know, if anyone knows click team, which I'm sure you guys do, they're not going to come after you uh, unless you're doing something really bad. Um, but yeah, I think that's absolutely fantastic. That's great value. Um, looking at the other parts, um, it seems that you can't have a AVs and TGAs. I don't know whether that's a license thing. I know some of those file formats Click Team have to pay a license for, and so they can't give it away for free, otherwise it will cost them money. Um, and then additional features. There's loads of additional features here. The only thing that's ticked for the free version is royalty-free commercial runtime subject to runtime agreement. So it's not completely free, but you know, within reason. So like, I think before with the demo versions um, that ClickTeam have, I probably would recommend people not um, because they're a little bit too restrictive. Looking at this, it seems like you get most of the ClickTeam experience for paying absolutely nothing. Uh, which is really, really good to hear. Like last week, we talked about the future of Click Team, how Click Team can grow and continue to thrive. Um, and I think whoever came up with this decision to have this kind of fully featured free version um, was absolutely having a brainwave um, because I think that's great. Um, and I, I don't know what their their licenses are to schools, whether they allow schools to use this free version, um, but yeah just it's really really good to say if you've got any experience with the free version uh let me know uh i'm really interested uh, how restrictive it is or how fully featured it is it seems like you pretty much get the whole of click team the bits that most people use 90 percent of the time um and then when you're sort of sitting there going oh i wish i could do this i wish i could do that oh i could make this an iphone app you're then ready to pay click team to move on um, which is exactly how these things should work. Um, if you've if you've used it, are there any splash screens? Is it irritating to use, or is it is it good? Um, but otherwise, I'm going to stop right there. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like these videos, click like and all that stuff. If you want to hear more from us, click subscribe. Don't forget, we're going to start a new project uh, next week. This is my two weeks of talking, which I promised. Um, but we're back to projects next week. So again, if you've got any suggestions of what you want me to cover, I've got, I think, five or six really great ideas from you guys so far. Um, so I'm not going to not gonna run out of inspiration for a while, which is good, but keep the ideas coming in. Anyway, oh, also, if you uh, have any ideas of stuff you want me to cover on Friday, because I think tomorrow I'll talk about the developer module, uh, but if you've got stuff you want me to talk about for Friday's episode, our final episode in this, uh, I just rant for 20, 12 minutes, um, let me know. Otherwise, thank you very much.